This morning, a migrant and refugee caravan on the road on the edge of Europe. Hundreds of people in Belarus make their way to the border with Poland. Their ultimate destination... The Polish government has said thousands are now gathering close to the border post near Kuznica. A few hours later, with tensions mounting, migrants start collapsing small trees onto the fence. Others, surprisingly well equipped, start cutting the wire with bolt cutters. The Poles have deployed around 12,000 troops to patrol an exclusion zone that runs along the border area. Lithuania to the north has proposed a state of emergency and is also deploying extra soldiers to its border with Belarus. This is hybrid information warfare, the culmination of a Belarusian policy to weaponize migrant misery, to punish neighboring countries supporting sanctions against the regime. Take this family, literally stuck between Belarusian forces in Balaklavas, pushing them one way, and Polish soldiers on the other side of the fence trying to stop them. According to Belarusian opposition, as well as wanting to punish neighboring countries and divide the EU, Lukashenko wants to distract. At least to distract from the situation in Belarus, uh, which still goes through uh, un un unseen repressions. Uh, for 15 months already, Belarus lives through the crackdown, uh, through violence, repressions, lawlessness and impunity. Uh, and this crisis allows to, to distract uh, the attention of the international community from, from that specific crisis. And this is how Lukashenko is doing it. We got an invitation like tourism for seven days. We recently spoke to a Yemeni refugee who'd made the journey through Belarus. He explained that as well as the regime facilitating tourist visas, Belarusian border guards escorted his group to an opening in the fence in the dead of night. They lead us to another way. And they told us, uh, make sure you don't come back. Poland is in something of a bind here. It can't give in to pressure from Lukashenko and wants to flex its muscles when it comes to its hard line on immigration. At the same time, the country has obligations to treat people humanely, which could become more difficult. Tonight, for example, reports of gunshots on the Belarusian side. And now, a giant refugee camp forming on the border. In the last few months, nine people have died in these forests, mainly from hypothermia. The only thing more unforgiving than the politics of immigration, the Belarusian winter.